Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote. Welcome you back to our let's play of Europa Universalis 4, our new Ethiopia, uh, Pastor John, and Blessed Nation Road. Now, uh, if you remember our, our last adventure, we had just decided to go right after a doll before they had a chance to really get uh, get their footing going. So we had taken most of original Adal, and the only two provinces that were originally in Adal that are left were Zylia and Hargusa, uh, with these four being from War Salongi in a war that backfired on them after we had pieced out Ajuran, and they turned their attention to poor little War Salongi. So, we have uh, a lot of Adal to core to digest here. And luckily we're ahead 30% on admin tech, so we should even be able to get back on core to get admin four, five by the time everything gets all four. All right, so we're gonna go back here and get everything going. We're gonna slow things down just a little bit. Uh, bring it, and, uh, we're gonna get that free stability. Which is also a good thing uh, when you're trying to do Ethiopia to keep in mind that there's a couple of these early on things about centralizing the uh, your capital that give you a lot of free stability. So that's uh, something I should have kept in mind the last time. But now we are doing pretty fine. So, all right, let's get some merchants going. We now have... Uh, we'll collect from Ethiopia. It's not great. We only collect from... Eight, 88 cents. The reason we're collecting is just because we don't have very many options. We've got the Gulf of Aden, which we are just about to get some actual trade in. And we've got the home port. So theoretically we could collect in Alexandria, because now it looks like they're actually giving us some some trade power. Not a whole lot. If we transfer it down, we could be able to get trade power, but at least for right now, we're going to just collect from the home port and from Gulf of Aden because of these two, because uh, uh, of the Saab and Tajura now. So, let's get that going. Now, uh, we do have a couple of options here. We can re uh, recover manpower, which is going to take a little bit. We can incorporate Damod, which I'm... Eh, well, I kind of want to keep around for right now just because of the extra couple of people and then there's remove Genjiro we're gonna do that for right now uh, just because that'll be a quick that'll be a quick little skirmish take one province make it go away they're in the middle of a fight with Waylada right now so I'm going to actually just wait on that see what happens there if they take over Waylada then that'll basically just solve a couple of our problems for us okay so, yeah, we're going to hang out on Ausa right now in order to help keep those uh, problematic, um, <laughs> sorry, in order to keep those rebels down. We'll mothball the fort, try and get a little bit of cash going. Now, of course, we've got some issues due to the fact that we're reinforcing our army. So it's not quite the buckets o ducats that we were making before. <laughs> but we'll get there again. In fact, let's see if we can do a taxation. Ooh, we can do... We've got a lot more options for that now. In fact, Ethiopia's looking a little bit nicer than they were pre before the patch. Just because it looks like they threw a few more... Uh, yeah, it looks like they definitely threw a lot more development points around in most of the provinces. In order to help you get a, a little bit better footing, it looks like. So that's going to go in that way. We're, make, we're making 1.07. And that's uh, unfortunately due to some of that corruption I threw around. I hate that. That, <laughs> that almost coughing sound that uh, losing money does. But, uh, you know. Oh. In fact, we need to get the corruption back up. So we're going to take our army down to at least where we're starting to make some cash again. It's going to slow down the reinforcement, of course, but that'll be fine. 
I don't see anybody being a big of an issue because even the Mamluks want to have go problems they can go through Mendobari. Alright, so we can lose the stability or we can lose some money and gain some loyalty. So let's go that route. Because at least with the burgers gaining some loyalty, that puts them to that, uh, well, it should have put them back into the 60, but it didn't. Looks like they're decaying a little bit. No worries. Okay, so now we can take Miltech 3, so that'll put us on a better keel going for some of these. Alright, let's slow down here just because we've got a little bit of, uh, separatism going. So, the, the Ausa separatists are popping, getting ready to fire here. So, that is going to be a problem because we... Hold on a second. Right now they got an 11 stack in. We have an 11.8 stack, and I'm, so unfortunately, we'll have to do our maintenance back up. Now, Chanchiro would like to hire us. <laughs> Too bad they don't realize that uh, we've got designs for them. Okay, so hopefully a lot of that coring will do better. Okay. Right, so it looks like we might end up taking another, another loan. But we gotta watch out for the separatists popping. And once a lot of that cores, then we'll get some cash going, because for instance, a sub is only a three, but it does give us some tack, uh, trade issue going. Uh, I'm already starting to, to menace the previous the previous game where we were making almost ten ducats a month. I'm sure happy days will come again. Alright, let's take out the rebels. Come on. Our manpower is taking bad and bad. Alright, come on. There we go. Alright, we can take Diplo Tech 3, which will actually help some money and also help lower corruption. It's like they threw in uh, some corruption reduction uh, that comes about naturally due to Diplotech, especially coming ahead of time. Okay. We got all these people to convert. And in fact, as you can see here, doing some of that already has helped our money. We're down to fit. Or it's just 15 cents. So let me get some of that going so we're actually making it above time again. Okay. Janjiro really wants some help. <laughs> Looks like Waylada might be removing them from the map at this point. Okay. So that, uh, unfortunately, the manpower went in the reverse direction. Uh. Oops. That's right. Okay, loyal subtex or 60 Diplo. Let's go with the Diplo power, because we're not going to be annexing anybody for a little bit. Uh, looks like the moon looks are starting to have some issues. But we'll, we'll keep our eye on them. Ugh, we just keep losing money. In fact, let's take it down to about half. So we're almost gaining a, a ducat. Because I'd almost actually consider renting out a Janjiro, except our manpower is so low, it won't do anything. Excuse me. Okay, let's check things. So, 1453 is with Ajaron. 1464 is with Adol. Those are important things to think about. Since 
we're ahead of time now, we might use some of these points to help uh, improve our people. So let's check development really quickly. Let's go for the cheapest. Cheapest looks like Ausa. Got uh, ones across the board. Dembia, who's got cotton. So that might actually be kind of popular. And the coffee's always pretty good. As you can see, we don't really have any gold yet. That's in Kaffa. We'll, we'll be fixing that. In fact, that's where we get made a lot of our money last time. Yeah, they still have the gold mine there in Kaffa. But uh, we're allied with them for now, so we'll see how that goes. And in fact, Janjiro probably is about to disappear off the map, it looks like. The only thing helping us be afloat a little bit is uh, tw the little bit of vassal income we're making. Okay, that should be good. Because Ausa was... Oh, it was a three. So really it's we're in Herrera Pops. Herrera, Mora, and Tangier. Oh, well, actually mostly Herrera. That uh, will get the biggest bump to our production value. state wouldn't be great, but that would at least help with the, the the unity. Okay. So, let's... Well, it does go down a little bit. But at least now we're starting to be positive again. And there we go. Problematic. Stay right there. Yeah, we've got a problematic stack about ready to pop. 10k, so we should be able to handle them. It's always annoying when you have early rebels. I realize it's part of it's largely because we bit off more than we could chew uh, before our manpower was actually anywhere near good. In fact, our money issues are compounding them. So what we might do is we might actually hold off on another missionary for a little bit. Yeah, just as I thought. We lot of eight Janjiro. Which is fine, that just makes it easier for uh, us to pick them up later. Oh, here. Oh, we can pick up some Diplo rep there for free, just by being nice to Elodia, so that's always good. I must have hit the wrong button. Oh, well. <laughs> That's one way to improve the <laughs> relations is by doing uh, that. Uh, oh, well. well. There we go. That'll help our Diplo rep immediately. <laughs> uh, that was a goof. All right. Well, we'll improve relations with Tin Ritz. Well... Costing us two Diplo, but we are still making five points, which is actually higher than a lot of countries. Because, of course, we have the, the greatest Neguse Nagast, Zara Jakob Solomonoid, the 655. It's somehow we're losing money again. Oh, 
There's that uh, revolt we were expecting. Oh, in fact, let's... Oh. This might not be good. Okay. Luckily, the tide's turning a little bit. There we go. Whew! Even with our high rolls, that was close. The uh, lower maintenance almost hosed things over. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to hold back on religious unity for a minute. Right now it's just unrest and corruption. But they also cost to do this. And we need to get some of our war chest back. Because now we're making a uh, 102 again. Which might be enough. In fact, we could go back onto full maintenance, which should improve the manpower. Not by much. Okay, so 10 years on a doll. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We don't really have very many enemies at the moment. So we could almost uh, just consolidate these guys. Hmm. Actually, Decker Bird doesn't add much. So you know what? We can afford this give them some local economy. There we go. That'll that'll degrade them. We won't have to worry so much. Uh, there are only three development anyway, so they're not adding too much to the economy. Yeah. We only lost about three cents there. So, uh, now it's just mostly checking up on things. Uh, we lose the stability to get local economy in Shewa, Endurista, and Lasta, where we can gain a stability with a little bit of local autonomy. So we might actually balance that out. I mean, it is a free stability. Which means we've now spent no admin points getting that. And speaking of spending admin points... Okay, we're about even time, so it's time to check, start checking on those. Okay. Okay, so it's time to go back to step five. I mean, we're going to be losing six cents, it looks like. Oh, but uh, we'll get some cash out of that to help stem that tide. Now, whether we lot to make an issue or not, that might be the trouble. They just claimed here against uh, Shewa. Goes out. They're looking there. They're pretty happy. Yeah, now we just need about 6,000 troops now. Because it wouldn't be that bad, it wouldn't be that bad actually taking Kappa. But it's not really going to happen for this. Because we need the gold mine that would help our economy quite a bit. And a lot of only has, it's like, 16. Oh, of course, Warsalongi insulted us. One note, Warsalongi. Okay. So we'll take that one, because that gives us a specific mission for that, which is the only reason why I'm doing that kind of topic unity right now. But, uh, yeah, things are going pretty good so far. Okay, Prestige. Uh, with this one, I mean, it, it is going a bit... Just a touch slower, but we already have gotten most of the doll in just the first 10 years. So that is something to think about. Oh no, we're losing our goddess belly against Warsalongi. In fact, that's interesting. 
that what's left of a doll split with it. Ajaran. Uh, uh, oh, that's let's see what happened. Ajaran lost actually a pretty nasty war against Maharan. So Maharan took these. Well, I think it, actually no, it didn't take anything. They might have just lost the war. And part of that split of the war was that Ajaran doesn't help Marahan, and so they swapped alliances there. Hmm. Something to keep in mind for the future. Okay, now we're getting there. We only need 4k left. Uh, well, let's do the prestige for the... It was only 10 ducats, so that wasn't that big of a loss. Meanwhile, the Mamluks are claiming down the Red Sea. So we're going to have to... Well, I already said we're going to have to keep an eye on them. Okay. Well, we can get uh, the, the, the coveted Admin Tech 5. And here's where we're going to have our choice. Now, religious te ideas did do pretty good because we do have a lot of non. So I think I might take them next. But I'm going to go, and I know this is going to make cause some people to gnash their teeth. Because we have to go against the Ottomans eventually, I'm going to go with quantity ideas. We need to have that extra land force modifier ready to go when we take on not only the Mamluks, but the Ottomans. Because we can't rely on just our allies and the meager forces we can put together. Because at most, we were able to put together like 42. And that's it. Okay, so we get increased missionary strength. In fact, let's do that with the manpower. Oh, oh, something just popped up right as I selected it. Go figure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the slowness on this. This is, of course, going to be one of those slow kind of uh, plays. Well, we're, well, we're just getting going. Okay, so Kafa died, but we get a new, a new royal marriage, and we get a little bit of 10% uh, trade efficiency, which does help us a little bit. It's not enough to quite stem the tide, but our poor, our plus four mill tech, which allows us to start taking some of those ideas, should be going pretty good. Okay, let's go, let's go a little balanced here with the North African warriors. Okay. So we have a, a big idea here. We can lose 25 power, get uh, Shiva gets moved to the capital, and they actually rename it now. A lot of uh, central Ethiopian local autonomy, or we just gained 50 admin. But uh, since we're not worried about admin so much, I mean, we are... I think that's the time, because for once it gives you a good a good selection on both, other than just, here, have free one stability. Otherwise, boom. Okay, looks like the Mammoths were still trying to, to do that, to uh, do a spy network on us. Okay, there's got to be something. Right now, it's the rooting out corruption and the army maintenance, which is our big one. Even the forts. Wait, the forts still up? That could be one. No? Hmm. Well, we do have two forts now. I hate losing money hand over fist, but... We'll lose the admin. So we're about to hit uh, Diplo 5. Four. Yeah, Diplo 5. So that will 
help some of our efficiency and our range. Let's see here. We can lose 30 Diplo and money. We can lose prestige and money. Or we can lose trade efficiency and taxes for 10 years. So uh, it's going to stink. We're going to have to lose the Diplo power and take a loan. But at least our loan looks like it's bigger than it has been, so that's also something to consider. But if we debase, we can probably uh, take that pretty well. In fact, why don't we do that so we lose the... Well, let's debase once. So we can pay off that loan. It'll give us a little bit of corruption, but, uh, yeah, well, but that should uh, allow us to actually do something about it. Alright, so it looks like Marahan and Ajaran is having another war. Marahan's losing pretty badly. Even though Adal's not involved in it at all. Hmm. And they're asking us for help. Well, we can offer them kind of uh, our army. Uh, huh. Well, I would actually want to see how this goes, because what I basically will end up doing is Ajarani will go up further. But they're, they're, they got split with Adal, so in the end we might actually uh, get something something out of this. Alright, let's get some cash from Demod. Well, finally we can actually start doing something, because... Ah, oh, there we go, we got 10 ducats and 75 with Demod. Okay. Now, what we might do is actually this might be smart. Wailata does have a much higher a higher tech, but four to five isn't that much. And if we take them out, we can sort of backdoor take over Enarita as well because they're allied. So. Now's the time to be sneaky, sneaky. Because I would guess that either Anorata will help us fight Wailata, or they'll backstab us, fight us, and then we can just take them over. Thereby relieving us of a diplomatic issue. Mm. And here's the Egyptian cops. Uh, the good old Egyptian cops uh, event that, well, you know what? Let's send the Mamluks that letter. Everybody likes us a little bit more. Well, at least the Coptic, Coptics do. And uh, we'll go from there. And we'll get some local development costs out of the secondary one. So we're going to have to leave it here uh, because it looks like... Uh, <laughs> We're running a little bit long on time again. Uh, man, I've been doing that lately. Uh, so we're going to leave that here, and we're going to have that in the next episode. And we should be fighting Waylada in our next episode. So uh, hope you have a very excellent rest of your day. And with that, class dismissed.